Karen Ridgeway from Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a kielbasa stew, and I'm going to be using my Dutch oven. I'm excited to be doing the Dutch oven because I have only done one other video, and that was ZD, and I'll link it below so you guys can see that one. That one came out very well. I did that for our Christmas Eve dinner. Some people do lasagna or some kind of sauce or some kind of marinara with shrimp on Christmas Eve. My aunt used to do pizza because she would cook all day long for, for this fabulous Christmas feast the next day. At this time, please look for the red subscribe word and give the video a big thumbs up. And tap that bell for all my notifications so you can get to see all my cooking videos grocery hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, and my cleaning and extreme cleaning videos. I've already started mincing my onion. And that looks like it's going to be good enough for the pot. I'm going to take the lid off. And set it in the sink for now. I'm going to put the onions right into the stock. To the Dutch oven. Onto the celery. I'll put the Complete recipe in the description box below, so you can copy it and save it to your phone or computer. I hope to see my video channel grow this year. I noticed some people have unsubscribed, which is fine. But I would like to see more subscribers than unsubscribers. I've only had a couple. So I'm going to try to find my niche, as they say, to get in the swing of things, to get you guys excited about cooking, cleaning, and shopping and saving money. Now I always use the leafy greens in my recipes, because that's where all the flavoring and the aroma is in the celery, which makes things taste fabulous. Right into the Dutch oven just like that. I'm going to take a couple of potatoes, about three small ones. I'm going to give them a quick rinse. them small. I am used to working in a crock pot on Dutch oven. This is my first meat meal. About the, that size of a cube. Bite sized pieces. Leaving the skins on, you may peel them, but again, all the nutrients are in the skin. Just rinse them well. I think two potatoes is going to be plenty, because I'll put my teenager's potato in the oven. Another quick rinse. And my knife. I'm going to open up the kielbasa. They also call this sausage stew. Take these potatoes out so they'll dry. 
going to use those potatoes with Sunday's meal, which is going to be a, a whole chicken. I have a, a video on prepping whole chickens, and I'll link that one below as well. I always slice my kielbasa in half when doing a stew. And you're going to cut them and put them right into the, crock, the Dutch oven. Keep wanting to say crock pot because, like I said, my comfort zone is my crock pot. eater, so I'm going to set some of the kielbasa aside and cook it in foil. Now all my cutting part is done. mushroom soup because that's what it said pairs nice with pork gravy and you're not going to dilute it you're going to put it right into the dutch oven rinse out my cans. It's going to give that a quick tap a couple times. It's going to be stubborn today. Using a little bit of elbow grease, I got the pork gravy opened. I'm going to dump that entire jar right into your Dutch oven. Taking my scissors, I'm going to open up the French beans by Green Giant, not a sponsor. I'm going to put them into the Dutch oven. And then I'm going to put in 3 teaspoons of garlic and fresh black cracked pepper. My usual suspects when it comes to spices. Take your wooden spoon, or your favorite spoon, and you're going to mix everything. I always hold on to the bowl or the Dutch oven or anything with my left hand so I get a firm grip on it so I can let the spoon do its magic when I'm mixing. Now using your can
10 ounces. They make it really difficult these days to find your ounces. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of water just around the rims like I'm doing. And then gravy gets nice and thick. The gravy will get thick as it cooks. I'm going to pop this into a 400 degree preheated oven for around 30 to 45 minutes, maybe 50. You want to make sure your potatoes are cooked all the way through with a fork, never a knife, because a fork, when the potatoes are done, will push through as a knife will just cut it. what the Dutch oven sausage stew looks like. If you'd like to see more Dutch oven recipes, please give the video a big thumbs up and go over to that red subscribe board and click on it. It'll turn to gray and tap the bell so you get all the videos. And that way you can stay on top of what I'm cooking that particular day and learn a new recipe or learn how to use something different that you're not used to cooking in. I think I got a handle on it, so I'll be using the Dutch oven more often this month, and you'll be seeing it in other recipes as well. well I'm going to be doing a beef ravioli for one of the Italian nights, I decided, and I can put it into the Dutch oven with a jar of prego and a, a can of, of regular sauce, like the 8-ounce cans, and season it with the Italian dressing, the garlic, and the black pepper, and it'll be delicious. And you can layer it with a mozzarella cheese, because it's the only cheese my husband will really eat especially with like lasagna and things, so I have to be careful. Not a lot of cheese on my foods. And this, will, like I said, this will go in a 400 degree oven for around 50 minutes. Time it for 40. Check the potatoes. If they're tender, you can take them out. If not, leave them in for another 10 minutes. Just make sure you time it so nothing overcooks. And have a great day.